that if I love you, I know what you'll do. You'll love me at once, the way you did once upon the tree. Hello, ladies, and welcome to my world. Watch I, Maleficent, get ready. Four ball and of them invited to you to give the princess a gift she will never forget. We need to sanitize our hands. So we're using the Unipest 2-in-1 sanitizer and cream. Alcohol free. And it's made from benzulcanonium chloride and it kills germs. Alright guys, I put on my rings as you see here. It is a ring set that I got from Etsy. I'll put the link in the description below as well. I just thought it would be a good um, accessory to have for the Maleficent look. Because it gives you that fierceness, but also that elegance. To start off, we're going to apply our Milk Hydro Grip Primer Base. I'm going to do about two pumps of that. And then we're just going to apply it all over our face. Again, I got my contacts from Solotica. Um, this color is called Mel. Next thing we're going to do here is our brows. I really want to make sure for this look to get my brows really flat, really intact. And you'll see here is a Syrah brow pomade. You're going to put foundation over. So what we're going to do here is now get both of these Juvia's Place foundations and we're going to mix them together. So we're doing a ratio of two drops or two pumps each. And as you see here, I'm putting them just on this palette. And then I'm going to add in the Chanel LeBlanc Eclat Rose Sur Mazure Rosy Light Drop. I'm going to do about two pumps of that as well. I'm going to take the Hangover 3-in-1 primer. We're going to just mix everything together. So I'm using a full coverage foundation. The reason why I use both of these colors, again, is just to, you know, give more of a paler complexion to the skin. I did a cover of Lana Del Rey's Once Upon a Dream and uh, I just hoped you guys would enjoy it. And I'm gonna also apply a bit of concealer just underneath, which is the 24 Tokyo from Juvia's Place. Also here, because you really wanna like brighten it up, add a little bit of a warming product, which is just the truffle. Apply the Fenty Beauty, as you see here, truffle color. And brush, I'm just gonna you see like in the film she's very her prominent area is like this area right here and you just want to make sure that area stays pretty bright and brighten up the jawline all right and then we're just going to blend the contour and this is when i'm going to bring in the tv white paint stick i'm going to have to cover my brows a bit especially from here to here. Just so, the reason why is because Maleficent has a huge forehead area here, and also this area, she's like very white right there. And we're just gonna map it out. So it goes from the tip in the center of the nose, and you're creating a shape, and this is when you're gonna cut off your brow a bit too. Just applying it with the product. Face. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna press it in. We're gonna show very deep socket, so we're gonna apply this liner shade as well underneath just to give more of a contour effect. And her nose is pretty pointy. So I'm also gonna apply a little bit of more of this. 
right there. This liner. Just so it looks a little more deeper in that area. And again, I'm gonna take the smudging brush. Then we're gonna go just a little bit here. She has a bit of that cut right there as well. She has that as well. And then also you can do it under the lip just to give more contour there too. Also, if you see, she has that cupid bow. And I'm just blending just so you don't see like any line. And also we're gonna make sure that our brow bone has a shape. So it's a very low brow bone. All right, so I'm just setting my face with some Creolin loose powder. Going to the contour kit. Anastasia, use a contour brush. We're gonna start off with the mid-tone shade. Want to make that mainly the color has to be there because that's where it sits in the deepest, like a fish. And then we're gonna do the temples of the face, which is right there. We're gonna add also the highlighter in this palette. And what this is gonna do is on a pure white color, give you the complexion, of a nude shade rather than a white shade. I'm now going to use Julia's Place War U2 palette, and I like this palette because it has a lot of grays, dark grays, and blacks. We're going to start with Balzana because it's a darker shade, and then we can blend it out with the Kana. Balzana is a darker, smoky gray. We're going to make this even deeper right there, from the hairline area to the ear area. You want to really make sure that the area is really deep, and then we're going to get more of the Balzana. So, just a light dab of that, as you see there. And this really does give you that beautifully sunken cheekbone. That Maleficent has. We're gonna use Kana again, and we're gonna use it on the bottom here to blend our chin. And I'm gonna take the Walzana again. I'm gonna get a short, smaller smudger brush from Sigma. I'll take the Walzana also for the nose. A line here to the Cupid's bow, and then a diamond shape. This would kind of deepen that area too. Mapping out now the eye shape. Her eye socket actually goes so deep that you want to make sure that is where. You're blending that from the temple to the eye, into the eye. That's where it should be really dark for the the temples. And we're taking Kana and a mixture of walls on and we're just mixing the coloring now. We just really want that deep gray color to contour the face. Okay. And we're gonna take the Chanel eyeliner, which is actually a limited edition product. Long Graphique and you can just use it to map out, like for instance, your brow bone, and go over, and it's waterproof too. You can also do in the waterline, your nose area, give it more of a sharper effect. Right next to that cupid's bow, you want to lift that lip. You want to make it angled, you don't want it, like right now it's very round, you want it very angled. So what you're going to do is take this white liner, there's this angle right there, and you want to just bring it up. Alright, so now we're just going to leave that for now, and we're going to go into the shadowing. We're going to do the Maybelline Master Kajal. So obviously the first line you want is to deepen that area. Now let's get a smudging brush and let's blend. Too high. You see how it's not adding more product, it's just shading up, so when you get a clean brush to do that, you're blending the product even more. You're not adding on product. But we're gonna put on the li um, the eyeliner now, and what I'm gonna use is just the same Kajal actually um, from Maybelline. I'm just gonna get into my lash line. I'm, I'm doing this before the liquid liner because I'm trying to get into the roots of my lashes. This way it deepens the eye shape right under the white line as well. But let's get from the Juvia's Place or YouTube palette. We're going to apply the Shawana Black Shadow, and you want to just apply it and blend that coal liner. Blend that as well. We're gonna get the liquid liner We're using Chanel Noir. So I like to, when you're gonna start off is do a thin line over your lash line. Once you have that thin line, so you wanna just dot it. The hardest thing is actually doing the same thing, same way on the other side. You can use your finger to do that 
blended flick. And that is the smoking I'm into the other side of my eye. And I will be right back. Brows, finally. So we're just using an angled brush and we're gonna be using the Walzana color, which is a dark, dark gray. And we're just gonna start mapping out with the powder. See here, my nose. You wanna just dot it right there. That's where you wanna start your brows. Go into that shadow. Do so you see how there's, an, there's a huge angle right there? You wanna dot that part out as well. Now we're just going to fill it in. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other brow, okay? So that is the brow. I'm using the new mascara from Chanel. It's called the Stretch de Volume. It has a very special brush tip. And also do it on the bottom. Line this layer of foundation over, blend the edges of the contour as well to help blend everything. All right, guys. So to make our cheekbone look even more pop to use Pat McGrath Pale Gold 002 Chroma Lux Highlight Cream. And I'm gonna put it on. And then we're going to now apply it just Same thing on the other side. Also put the highlight in the center of the nose and the brow bone, the cupid's bow in the center right there. Bit of the chin. So with lashes, I'm using the Ardell lashes and I'm gonna use an adhesive from Sephora. So while the glue kind of dries a bit, I'm gonna just curl my lashes. I'm just gonna set it. After you've done that, you just wanna apply some liner on top just to hide that seam. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. With Maleficent look, she did a flick in the inner corner. So I'm gonna do that too as well with the same liner. Connect it to the entire eye so you have a connected eye now. So I did the inner flick on the other side as well. So we removed all of that foundation. With the lips, we're going to do is the two lip liners. So it's Gradation Black and Carmen. We're gonna start with the Gradation Black from Yves Saint Laurent. I'm just gonna reapply that line again. So, I wanna elongate that shape. We're gonna take the Carmen color, which is a bright red, and we're gonna draw out Angelina Jolie's look. So you want a pointed as well. And then her bottom lip is very, very thick. So I'm gonna go a little, a little bit deeper. And then again with the gradation black, we're just gonna deepen. See how it deepens the edges a bit? And then now we're gonna apply from the Lily and Sephora collection, the color is called Hustler, which is a liquid applied all over. Okay, and then we're gonna also get that white liner again and we're gonna outline around the lip. And you also make the line in Cupid's bow because that's how her lip is in the um, film. And then we're gonna take the concealer brush and we're just gonna blend the edge. All right, and that is the liquid lipstick and it's finished. She has a bit of that gloss, so we're going to use Yves Saint Laurent lip stains. And I'm going to apply number 33 first on the bottom, because it's like a darker red. It gives you that bloody stain. I'm going to use the number 10, as you see here, on top. A bit of a lighter red. That is the Maleficent 
Love it. I love the highlighters. But I'm gonna apply the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. How many carats? Apply it with my ring finger. Apply that on my cheekbone on top of that Pat McGrath, as you see, highlighter. And this is, this is really gonna give you that dewy glass skin. And I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. It's a great combination. And I'm gonna do it right here in the center. And also on the brow bone. Cupid's bow. And a bit on the chin. So this is the finished Maleficent look. Listen well, you all. The prince said that with a deep crow. Grace and beauty. But before the sun sets on a 16th bird, she will prick her finger on a spindle of a spinning wheel and fall into a sleep like death. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying to the end of the wall. To avoid getting a curse yourself, like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.